Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're watching from, because we believe that on Facebook there could be people watching this all over the globe. But we're here tonight to worship Jesus, to just spend time in His presence, lift up His name. Tonight's called Worship with the Word, so tonight we're going to be reading some scriptures, singing along with them, singing some songs, but that should not really take away from the purpose of tonight, and that is Jesus. Yep. So we just encourage you, whether it's in your own home or here in the building, that if you worship by reading a scripture, if you worship by just praying in the Spirit the whole time, singing along with us, it's all worship to Him. There's no right way, no wrong way to do it. The only wrong way is by not doing anything. So, Father God, we just come before you. We just lift up your name. We just exalt your name today, Jesus, that we pray, Lord, that we would just not be just singing lyrics, Lord, but that you would help us, God, just to connect, Lord. That you'd help us, Lord, to be able to enter into your presence. For we just dedicate this time to you, Lord. We dedicate these minutes, these seconds, this evening to you, Jesus, that you would have your way, that you would reveal to us, Lord, with what you desire, that you would arrest us by it with your love, Lord, and that you would just help us, God, to go to deeper places with you. In Jesus' name we pray.
is a light that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a light forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. 
than the dark So as you guys can see, we're entering into a time called sponte or spontaneous chorus. That's not what we're entering into. We're entering into just a time that we like to call worship with the word. And basically what we do during this time, I've explained it before, but we just go over a certain scripture that we feel um, has been laid on our hearts and we just sing it out. It's that simple. Um, you can do this alone in your room you can do this in your car you can do this really wherever but you just all you need is a bible um, and we just really believe that there's so much power in singing scripture out because there's so much truth in scripture and just before we get into this i i feel like i just need to to say something like somebody either just Facebook live or in this room or even later on in the week that might fall upon this video needs to hear this but he is so much bigger than you can even comprehend and he has so much love and affection for you he is not distant you know, and just being very real and very open with you guys. This past week, anybody who's been in my life and knows me has been one of probably the darkest weeks I've ever experienced. It's been very low. It's been very difficult. Um, I've needed a lot of help from a lot of different people, and I feel like there's something to be learned with that. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with having people in your life that God has actually placed in your life that are meant to be there, those are your brothers and sisters that you can rely on. And in those seasons, God actually is putting them in your life for a reason, to lean on and to get help. That's okay. There's no shame in that. I'm having to teach myself that. I'm somebody that grew up very independent. I learned how to do things just for myself by myself just having that emotional kind of 
hard week was just not acceptable the way I grew up. And I'm learning just this past week, it's totally okay to be low, to have those weak moments. It doesn't mean that you haven't prayed enough. It doesn't mean that you're not necessarily reading the word enough. Now, could you probably do more? Absolutely, we're all in process, right? So we always could be probably reading the Bible more and praying a little bit more and getting um, our song out more to him. Absolutely. But God's not the kind of God who's judging you from above and is saying you're not doing this enough. So that's why you're in the place that you're in. That's not who he is. That's not the kind of father he is. I know that certain theologies sometimes teach that and I'm just here to say that's not the truth that is not the truth God does not act like that he's not that kind of a father not from who I've read about in the Bible that's not the kind of God I have and so it's okay if you're in a low moment and it's okay to reach out and ask for help I have beautiful friends and family members who have supported me this past week and have got me through and whatever else I might need, I know that I have them standing by my side. So just let go of the pride, y'all. Just drop it, okay? Because it's really not that, you're not that cool anyways. Like, let's just be real here. We're not all that. We're not ham and cheese, okay? So just like, let it go. Ask for the help. And this isn't even necessarily like spiritual in a sense, but I feel like somebody, either myself later on in the week or somebody here, somebody on Facebook Live, you need to know that God is bigger and he places these people in your life for a reason. Use them. They're from him. Use them. If you're part of a church, those are your brothers and sisters in Christ. Get a hold of somebody's phone number and text them throughout the week. Ask them to meet up for coffee or something. Go drive for an hour and just talk. You have people in your life for a reason. You are not alone. Whatever it is that is in your life that might be heavy will not conquer you. That's not the end. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. You've got a bigger God and you've got a bigger family who are here for you, love you, support you, and you will get through this. Again, I'm speaking to myself because I need to hear that. This last week, I have seriously been, I mean, you guys, it has been rough. Anybody who's been in my life, Maddie up here in the front, knows it has been one of the worst weeks of my life. But I'm, I'm, still, I'm still walking through it, I'm still getting through it, and I'm going to be okay. I know I'm going to be okay, and you're going to be okay. So somebody needs to hear that. God loves you. People love you. The people around you who are in your church family love you, especially here at Atomic Church. We're kind of a lovey-dovey group, so if you go to Atomic Church and you need help, please reach out to somebody. Reach out to Pastor Donna, Pastor Mark, myself, maybe not myself right now, but eventually myself, Stephen, right? Even Maddie, Pastor Sarah, Pastor David. Reach out to somebody, okay? Because there are people here that have got your back and will get you through. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Jesus, for being such a good counselor, for being the truth above all the noise, for being the voice of truth that tells me a different story. Lord, I ask that during this time you would continue to break chains, that you would just come and inhabit and make your way in this place tonight. I ask for healing and restoration, fullness in Jesus' name. Mental illness, mental health, depression, anxiety. Just be gone in Jesus' name. Dropped. Chains fall. Fear bows. I ask, Lord Jesus, that as I stand here, God, I ask that you would just protect me with your armor. God, I ask that nothing would pierce me as I leave tonight. God, that you would just be making your way in our lives, the center of my life, the center of my marriage, the center of my new family. 
ask, God, that you would just come and speak to us, speak individually to our hearts. As we sing out this scripture, that walls would fall, the prison doors are just thrown wide open. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. We thank you, we love you.
want it? Do we want the floodgates open? Are you crying out for more? Are you desperate? Are you hungry for more of him tonight? Do you want to feel him closer to you tonight? I encourage you sing louder than you've sung before. Break down those walls. Break down those insecurities of getting closer to God. Whatever it is that's holding you back. If you need to kneel right now, I encourage you to kneel. Get down. Whatever it is that you have to do. But tonight, we can break some chains. Tonight, some walls can come down. Tonight, someone can get healed. Not through us, through him. So sing it out.
It is me fighting through every single thing that is going on in my head to get closer to God, to have that depth and that connection, to feel his heartbeat over me. So it's, it's kind of a little bit of war, but that doesn't have to be for everybody. It could be kind of a dance. It could be something very... Soft worship is, is everybody's own thing. That's, he's created us uniquely and different, right? We're all uniquely and wonderfully made. So make worship your thing with the Lord, but have it be something that's special to just you and him. Let there be a love language between you and him when you worship, however that looks. It doesn't have to look like the person next to you. I used to get really down on myself for always actually, I used to be the person that would sit when I worshiped, which I mean is what I'm doing now because I kind of have to, but I used to sit a lot and I would look around to the people that were around me that were like up and kind of going crazy. And sometimes I would get there, but a lot of the times I'd be sitting because it was something for me. That's how I could get very, very, very deep with God quick was how I was able to block everything out and just have it be him and me time. Him and I. And it was a really precious moment. That's what I had to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I used to compare myself to the people around me and thinking maybe I'm not doing enough, maybe I'm not worshiping the way that I should be worshiping. There's no one way to worship. Worship looks so different to so many people. Even if you were to go to Africa, worship looks a lot different over there than it does here. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's all unique and beautiful. Because at the end of the day, we're going to be one tongue, one nation. 
one voice. So not only celebrate your differences and celebrate the unique style that God has given you individually, but I encourage you, if you haven't found it, explore it. What, what is it? What is your love language to the Lord? Because as soon as you can get a hold of that, worship is going to become so much more powerful to you in these moments because you have that language, you have that moment, you have what's uniquely yours. You have that, that ability to get everything else out of the way, all the distractions, and to just center yourself before the throne. So figure, figure that out if you haven't. I encourage you anyways. It helps with me. And um, yeah. Amen. Mama ma ye she la 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 ba ba ye hey ma ya ye lo 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 ibra shika mama this is how I fight my battles this is how I fight my battles this is how I fight my battles this is how I Jesus.
tonight, Father, we declare that there's no one like you and that there's none beside you. There's no one else. Where else can we go but to you, God? We declare your goodness tonight. We declare your mercy in our lives tonight, God. We declare your grace and your kindness tonight, God.
I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. I'm not here for blessings. Jesus, you don't owe.
change everything
We give you glory. We give you honor. We praise you and we thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He is good. And he breaks the chains. He sets the captive free. And that goes for everybody. There's not a list of people that God does that for. It's for everybody. So we'll be back here next Friday. We're going to keep on worshiping him until he comes back. Hope you guys have a good night. We'll see you next week at 7 p.m. Good night, everybody.